Hey, you kids! Merry Christmas! Now get off my lawn! What up, players? It's Wobbots Tape in this mud, and I'm not sure if all of you are in the know or not, but for those of you who don't, uh, Warseer posted up, thanks uh, to Harry, the Pie Master, they posted up new pics of their Vampire Counts range, a new release which is going to be out in January. So I thought I'd bust out all these Vampire Counts models that I've painted recently and just talk a little bit about what I think about the new models. I think they look fantastic. I think they look really great. The, um, oh, that Mortis Engine slash Coven Throne is going to be a monster to paint, literally. It is so flippin' huge. Um, I think that the, uh, the ghoul zombie Frankenstein looking monsters look pretty great. And, oh, the new Isabella model in fine cast looks fantastic as well. I'm not going to risk any kind of, uh, reprisal or, or lawsuit or, or anything, maybe even not that ex extreme by showing them. But um, go to warseer.com, look at their forums, and check out their rumors and uh, news and rumors section. And the fir first post will probably, if you're watching this around the time this video comes out, be Vampire Counts. Um, Harry's first post, he updated it with pictures really recently of the new release. And wow, they look really stunning. That, um, that Mortis Throne is going to really throw you through a loop. Like I thought when the Arachnorok spider came out, I was like, wow. Orcs and goblins are so cool, they get this giant monster. And then the War Sphinx came out, and I was like, whoa, that's a big monster. And then all the Ogre Kingdom stuff, and everything's just coming out with new giant, humongous plastic monster kits. And hey, man, sell those models, GW, do what you gotta do. But holy cow, it's like the most biggest obscene new kit I've ever seen. And Vampire Counts gets it, and it looks like a giant, <laughs> looks like a whole bunch of vampires, like, surfing on a wave of undead magic and energy and just ridiculousness. So am I going to be picking any of it up? Probably. To go with my tiny little um, vampire counts selection of guys here. Um, I think that first I'm probably going to be going for the new Hell Knight kit, or the Black Knight kit, don't know which, uh, can't recall off the top of my head, but they look really good now that they're being done in plastic. I think that the old Black Knight models, you know, I'm not really into the big, clunky 1990s GW style. Uh, overall, there are some models that I really like, but, you know, for the for their undead range, for their vampire counts range, I think that um, these new Hell Knight models where they can get all this great detail and um, stuff into the sculpt, like this Wraith here, is pretty awesome. The Hell Knights also have, are going to be a dual kit for, um, what are they called? Let me look it up here on my computer. Hex Wraiths? Yeah, Hex Wraith Calvary. Like Wraiths on steeds. So those look pretty, pretty, pretty crazy too. So. Oh. Man, I haven't done as nearly as much Ogre Kingdom stuff as, as I wanted to. Uh, I still got a bunch of that stuff like lying around that I'm gonna have to get to, but oh man, I don't wanna have to put them on the back burner for this. I just love this old gothic style of the Vampire Counts range, the look of them. Just looks really, really awesome and um, makes me, I like looking at these models makes me want to bulk up my Vampire Counts army. I'm still looking for my corpse cart. I know I've got a corpse cart around here somewhere, but I've got to find that. Um, what else? The Hex Raids, the Vampire Counts. Oh yeah, the new... Um, well, the new Vargeist creature. They look like baby Vargolfs, like Monstrous Calvary with wings. Wow. Like, G you can tell GW has really put a lot of time into... Um, giving more stuff to the range of the vampire accounts. Like just looking at these pictures on the news and rumors website, there's one, two, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven new kits. And of those, it looks like one, two, three of those are, are dual kits. So 
um, looks like this book is really going to be bulked out and you know with the new terror geist slash dragon zombie dragon um, looks like that was just an early release for the book and a chance to play for them to play test the the terror geist rules with our friend here the ghoul king um, since they already have the zombie dragon rules out and they're just like tweaking those rules looks like ooh, did I really paint this guy up like this this looks disgusting So, um, really happy with the way that, that Games Workshop is doing this. If, my, only, my only wish is that Games Workshop, like always, would give a little bit more advance notice um, so that we wouldn't have to find out from, from you know, Warseer. But, you know, I'm glad that they're able to find the picks and, and release them and leak them, I guess. But really, bleh, bleh. but really, I... I feel like, you know, Games Workshop, you would make so much more buzz. You would create so much more buzz for your hobby if you just, like, release these pictures yourself, like, a, a, a month at least in advance or two. Oh well, it's not gonna stop me from buying your stuff. Um, I just wish that, you know, we had a little bit more advance notice so we can start prepping ourselves, making, making storage space breaking our dusting off our old models and getting ready instead of just saying like oh hey in a week we're gonna release like 20 new kits and a new book and magic cards and um yeah Merry Christmas <sighs> anyways I'm not trying to rant here I just want to say that vampire counts are awesome they look great they feel great they um, I think they're a great step forward design wise from their old models and I'm really happy that they're gonna be coming out with the new model uh, models new models for the range and get off my lawn what do you guys think let me know and um, post down in the comments um, are you excited about the new models have you seen them what do you think and uh, ooh, what should I get first okay that's all y'all oops I was gonna end the video there because I got off on a tangent but I forgot to mention the new Isabella von Karstein model. Oh, Vlad, they're making your wife in fine cast and she looks fantastic. I'm so happy for you. Oh, she's so pretty now before she looked kind of a uh, womp womp. But Vlad's, Vlad's uh, the new Isabella von Karstein model. Oh, it looks so good. It looks really Baroque and Gothic and um, just the pose is so simple, but it looks really good. And the new Krell model, um, Krell the White King looks really really good too. So I remember first reading about Krell in the um, Return of the Lightmaster, something of the Lightmaster, uh, which was a Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay first edition book that uh, that actually got me into this whole hobby. Heinrich Kemmler the Lightmaster and his uh, White King champion Krell. So the the new Krell model looks so massive and bulky and beefy that you know they're just continuing to make these models bigger and better and um, Krell looks like a great great model Isabella looks like a great model they um, they also have which I forgot to talk about the upgrade pack for the von Karsteins which is just a bunch of shields and banners with bats and skulls on them um, for your I guess for your white guard for the uh, grave guard whites and they have there's also a new white king white king model that looks like one of these um one of the plastic single purpose kits like the um the nurgle lord um he looks pretty good as well but uh he's, he, yeah he's just super beefy and is looks really bulked out um so yeah looks really awesome and can't wait for it thank you games workshop merry christmas to you um here's all my money merry christmas